Hey everyone, Team UDF here for a requested tutorial on SKSE, the Skyrim script extender, how to download, install, and use SKSE to your advantage. Uh, SKSE is a very handy tool for Skyrim modding. Whether you're just playing with mods or trying to make your own mods, uh, the SKSE can help with compatibility issues and just generally make Skyrim run a lot more smoothly when you're tossing a bunch of mods together. So I highly recommend it again. Let's go ahead and get started, and if I'm playing random music in the background, if it's the soothing sounds of piano, uh, credit to my good friend Potato Pancake for his scores on that. Let's check out our friend Google. Find SKSE. We should be finding the Silverlock website. If it's not on top for you, well, find it some other way. And at the top of the page, though, what we're most interested in is the current build. Uh, usually every time Skyrim has a major update, like when Skyrim changes its version, uh, the SKSE guys have to write a new version of their code for SKSE, so whenever Skyrim updates, you'll just have to come back to this website and grab the next version. Anyway, you were interested in this uh, .7z file, go ahead and download that. And I'm not going to because I've already got it right here. Oh, you totally haven't seen that on tutorial videos before. Let's go ahead and open it up, explore the contents of this folder. There's a few important things we want here. We want these DLL files, first of all, and we want the loader application itself. We're going to take these three files and copy them into our Skyrim directory. If you're on Steam, the directory should be, you know, program files, then in Steam, then Steam apps, then common, then Skyrim. If you installed Skyrim some other way, just find a way to hunt it down and generally find it. Yay, English, but in any case, once you're in the folder with the Skyrim launcher icon, you're in the right place. Go ahead and paste all the SKSE DLLs and stuff. I actually, actually already upgraded to this version, but whatever, I'm going to do it again. Let's replace them all. I actually have older versions I should probably get rid of, but uh, in any case, we're not quite done yet. We want to minimize that, go back to the SKSE folder. Uh, you want to jump in the data folder. And in the scripts folder, you find all these PEX files. You want to take every single one of these PEX files and copy them. Then return to your Skyrim directory. You'll mimic the moves you made. So like we went into data and scripts in the SKSE folder. We'll go to data and scripts in the Skyrim folder. Same move and you're going to paste over all the PEX files. I forget if it's your first time using SKSE, if you'll have to do this, but in any case, copy and replace if you're updating SKSE or whatever. And if all you're doing is playing Skyrim mods, you're actually good to go right now. Minus one minute step at the end. If you are doing more things with mods, like if you're making your own mods, there is a readme in here. All you want to do is, let's see, where is it? You want to hop into step three right here with the PSC files in the source folder that we skipped over. And those will be handy for you. Otherwise, for the rest of us, we're ready right now to play Skyrim. Hooray! How do we do that? Let's return. Let's see if I can even find it now to our, nope. Skyrim directory. And you're no longer going to want to run the game from the launcher itself. You actually want to run the game from the application that says SKSE underscore loader. And you'll do that from now on. You can go to the launcher on Steam or whatever to change your graphic settings or enable disable mods and ESPs and things like that. But when you're finally ready to play the game itself, you come back to this folder and run it through the SKSE loader application. And that's really the gist of it. That's all you need to know about SKSE. If you do have questions, though, go ahead and leave them in the comments area, and I will try to get to them. I'm sure there's going to be at least one or two, because I've never seen a tutorial video that has 100% success rate, and I don't intend to be the first. But in any case, that's it for SKSE tutorial. Thanks to the people who requested this, because, I don't know, I had fun with it. I needed to do it myself earlier today, so why not? And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for more Team UDF Gaming. Boy!